in blue. There he is right there. That's right, this is not just any boat, this is THE boat. The Nunsuch from Nunsuch Like It. Come aboard as we get a tour of SV Tanglefoot. Tangled up in blue Mitch, let me bug you for a minute. What's the favorite thing about your boat? What do you uh, love most about the it? The favorite thing about my boat is when my friends come over. Oh! <laughs> ah, he Suck wants booze. He's acting. No, he's not. asking for I alcohol. It it's it when your beautiful yeah. family's aboard and you've got beautiful weather. And no, that's a great. The companionway that's height is what actually here. astonishes oh, me. Well, this this is like four feet. Really well, it really it's has a cloudy, but yeah. I tell you, with it being cloudy, it kept the temps down. I, broke, I might have broke that. The cockpit as well in the Nonsuch is super spacious. You can easily fit six people here comfortably. Thank you. Look at this beautiful cabin. None such like it. Hey, Zach, what's up? I'm doing a tour. You're, you're supposed to be my tour guide. Oh, no. You're no. supposed to tell me all the wonderful things about your boat. And he totally left me. <laughs> Did I mention the man gets distracted? You'll find this is the Nonsuch from my most recent sailing book, Nonsuch Like It, which I hope offers a very intimate, first-hand feel for the layout and capabilities of the Nonsuch. It has a very spacious interior and a unique sail plan and is a comfortable, trusted coastal cruiser. Now, Let's see if I can get his lovely wife to give me a tour. I guess I can do it. You don't have to clean up at all, Michelle. Nice fridge. Two burners, two. We got a lot of snacks. Oh no, thank you. I'm doing the tour. Do you want to be my tour guide? Oh, tell me about your wonderful boot. This has what I like about it is just the way the kitchen's laid out because it's got, you know, I mean, there's a, it's a it's a hobby boat because there's things we want to do to fix it. Like any used boat you buy, there's always things you want to fix. Sure. But, you know, it's part of the fun. So pretty functional. Yeah. It's got a nice fridge. You pleased with that? It's got a fridge here. Wow, that thing is huge. And it's you know got the cold plate that keeps everything really cool. Love. Keeps everything and really then, cold. Of course, you know about the storage here. We call so. it the snack hole. That's right, the <laughs> snack hole. Which I'm about to put another snack in there. There you go. Goes and in then, the snack hole. You know, lots of drawers. I like that. I'm all happy with, you know. There's a the deep drawers. sink here. I like yeah. that. And then, um, as far as the well, right now Zach's hanging out where there was a couch, and then we have <laughs> There's another couch. couch there. But um, mm -hmm. you know, we just kind of have like a sectional here, and then. Uh, there's a nav station desk, of Perfect. course. Does this make another bed here? Oh yeah, this actually drops down and then the Sweet. extra cushion we kind of tucked away right now, but it yeah, makes for back two back. adults to sleep. Have y'all so been really, able to kind of curl up and do movies there? And oh see yeah, like? so you could do really five adults in this in this comfortably that's you know, if we had to. Or six small adults. I mean, get our mess <laughs> back in there, but that's our sleeping quarter. You're welcome nice. to check it out. Looks yeah. nice. Big bed here, Lord. Mm -hmm. Did y'all sleep pretty good last night on oh, Anchor? Oh yeah, because what he did is he bought a, uh, well actually not bought, but we had a four inch latex pad and we put it right on top of the Oh, uh, nice. other pad that was already in there yeah so that's fantastic it's really like an eight inch mattress now so. oh i bet it feels good and, too uh, there's to storage good storage in there, back and there's there closet in there lord that uh, thing is huge are y'all seeing how big this is <laughs> the nonsuch is like a massive yeah. floating condo so, trust me this is laid out you know we got like right now we've we got, got two doors uh, into the bathroom yeah Shower. You've got the separate shower like yeah, us, which is phenomenal. Yeah, there if we, you know, had to. A little privacy. Uh-huh, and then, you know. But you don't really need it. It's not too bad. Yeah. And then, um, you know, basically the other. Michelle, you've you got know, such a great space in here. Smaller, roomy boat, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. Those, it's a good you know? size. It's yeah. got everything you need, you know. Yeah, and so, and then we went so over good. to Roger's boat uh, last night, and I was wanting a commode, though. <laughs> you were wanting a what? Oh, is that the kind yeah, of boat he has? The commode's the bomb. You know, it's fine. <laughs> you don't have to pump 
Okay. You just press this button. And oh, commode. I thought you were talking yeah, about a boat, oh, no, like no, a commode commode. boat. I was like, and what kind of boat is that? And then it sat tall, commode. too, you know, because Mitch being six foot four and a half. He needs some space. Exactly. What so. do you think about the um, battery power? Do you have enough? Uh, yeah, you, you to... know, I mean, I think he added two other small batteries to this boat since mm -hmm. we had it. And um, it is giving more extra power, you know, because look at who we have here. <laughs> Little monster here, uh, you gotta keep fed with Guzlin, juice. iPad, <laughs> iPhone, I, music, everything, you know, so. I Universal. I said, well, you know, our have, next upgrade will be maybe a generator. So. Have, <laughs> have you had the pleasure of accessing the engine yet? Um, well, Mitch probably has. Um, he probably <laughs> has to fool folks? with it, you know, and do all that. So. Yeah. So, stairs come on. See? Yeah, nice. you got the staircase there that can Thanks. move and look at oh, this guy. Fire thing, I think you might have to unhinge. I think he'll come with me. Okay. You see? Oh, you might have to push that seat. There you go. There wow. There she is. Fantastic. Do you, Do you know what kind of engine you have? Uh, Mitch, what's what kind of engine is this? She's uh, thirty-three. Woo! I thought it was a 30. It's 33? Yeah, Woohoo! Yeah, so Look at that fancy can thing. Haul, can haul. It really I mean, can. Push this it thing. chugged us across the mm. Gulf of Mexico. I was It'll like, chug a yeah. Away. You guys were brave on that one. Because, you know, it's so deceiving from Which is what outside. makes it, you wouldn't think it feels so big, yeah. right? Yeah, and so, you know. And, I don't know whether it was one knot faster. And this is the Bimini down, which I love. Bimini down. I'm really actually very jealous of the Bimini drop. Another really cool thing about this tour, and this boat in particular, with so much experience we have with it, you get some awesome footage of her under sail.
was awesome helping our buddy Mitch bring this boat back home across the Gulf of Mexico. But as boats tend to do, when she started giving him plenty of grief, as his trusted boat buddies, we were the first ones he called to help. All right, unfortunately we're out here at um, oh, no. <laughs> Tanglefoot oh, and uh, we've had an incident. We've got our crack first made on it. What this white mark is. Well, I, I think, think we I'll open, open it up, up and take see what's it out. going on. Let Mitch Can do, do it. No, because you're going to get all fuely. He needs to do it. All you got to do, Mitch? Yep, we got to be there the first time he got water in the fuel, but to make sure he got it drained out and cranked her back up. It is there. It's it's one of those. I still can't believe Mitch fits in here, the starboard lazarette. <laughs> Thanks. That's is there's water in there. The good question is how did you get water in the fuel? What? We're just curious how you get oh. water in the fuel. Careful, Mitch. Let's drip it out and see if it looks like water. If it looks pink. It looks white. Uh-huh. That's not good. Get that. Move that bracket off. There you go. Yeah. And now look what the color is. Yeah, oh, it's terrible. It. It's like light amber. That's yeah. not pink. There, now it turned pink. No. What, gl what globe comes off? This part? The well, glass I've never globe. had to take the glass globe off, but... Hmm. I would think it would unscrew at the bottom. I would think, like, yeah, see, those, just... see that seam? Let me have a... a, a paper paper towel. Towel. Where's your paper towel? Right here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we had him sailing back in no time. Now that our buddy had his very own boat, he now had his very own host of boat problems. But all we needed to do was help him drop the hook one time, and he could see that it's all worth it. The theme song of Tanglefoot. Who do we see out here? Is that Tanglefoot? Is that Tanglefoot? Anchor for the first time. And we gonna get it on film. Ooh, turn it up. The pain pulling up my shoes. There he is. Liking these videos? Awesome! Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, sign up at HaveWindWillTravel.com for free copies of my sailing books, and join my journey across the Atlantic, which I'm sharing exclusively on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board! Hey guys, quick little video update. Um, apologize for the clothes. I'm helping rebed windows on the catamaran. Today, if everything went as planned, it should be May 27th, which means tomorrow is May 28th, my birthday, I'm turning the big. And I've been doing this for three years now at HaveWindWillTravel.com. I quit the practice so I could write, sail, and travel. I've been super humbled by my followers and supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much. And I'm grateful for this opportunity now because tomorrow, Weather depending, Philip and I are stepping on a 46 foot catamaran and starting our voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty freaking cool. <laughs> but I've been busting my hump so that you all would have some fun goodies while I was gone. There's still gonna be one video every week, a blog post every week. Um, the book's come, it's not coming out. 
If it's May 27th, the book is out. Go get it. And the Atlantic Crossing content is all available exclusively on my crowdfunded site, Patreon. I am so excited about the photos, footage, and stories I'm going to be able to share there with my patrons for months to come after we get back. Um, the map share tracker is up there now, so if you can, get on Patreon and watch us as a little blue blinking dot as we go across the ocean, where we can leave messages every day via the DeLorme, uh, how we're doing and how the passage is going, so you can be right there with us in the cockpit as much as I can bring you. Uh, dude, go to Have One World Travel, sign up today, that way you got um, updates on all the goodies that are coming out, and follow us along. I am taking a vacation. It is time for the sailor to have a break and go to France. <laughs> And I know one phrase. Uh, je voudrais des vins rouges, s'il vous plaît. Merci. I think that'll get me where I need to go. All right, I'm headed to France. Au revoir.